My jumper? <laughs> I, when I'm doing the rebounding draw, I have to miss. <laughs> so it's like, I never missed that many shots in my life. You gotta, you gotta hit it right off the, the rim so they can get some boards. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's not my yeah. sweet jumper, though. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I messed up just, last time. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, just appreciate everybody being here. We're, we're thrilled to start a new season. You know, for coaches, it feels like Christmas every time a new new hoop season starts, and uh, just just excited to be on the court with our team for for a couple weeks now. When we get the 20 hours a week, there's so much we get to obviously get after. Um, this is an extremely competitive team. This is a team that we're still trying to find um, different roles. Um, we have some obviously re re returners and vets um, that you all know to our program, and then we got some you know some new faces, which will be very exciting to watch and see how they progress. So. The looking for the roles, but the identity, right? Is Marquette yeah. basketball, you guys have an identity. That doesn't change, right? Yeah, identity is still the same. We're going to be tough. We're going to be hard-nosed. We're going to play both sides of the ball. Um, that's what we were building a lot even today, just just having that fight and that toughness when we get tired. And um, I think a lot of things can you can be patient with if those things are your staples. So we're diving on the floor for loose balls, trying to get our charge numbers up. Uh, and that's the part then your offense will eventually come. But I, I like the way our team shares the ball. That's been something that has been important to us over the years too, of you know, equal opportunity, ball movement, inside out play, and we'll continue to do that. Isaac's saying that might ramp up the speed a little bit, more, a little more transition. Or are you expecting some of that? Yeah, I mean, every year you want to play fast. I don't know if there's any college coach in America that wants to play slow. Um, just trying to obviously get in shape. I think that's the big thing. All these kids want to play fast, but you got to be able to fly up the court. So, yeah, we're, we're trying to play free, get the ball out, move it, um, you know, space the floor, and then obviously we'll have our opportunities in the half court to be successful as well. Jordan, you know, for, for the first time in six years, one big thing will be wearing blue and gold. How is the staff and team in general looking to fill this up? Um, Role and just what did her influence leave on this? Yeah, team? Lauren Van included is not here. <laughs> like, she doesn't have a se seventh year. Um, she started her professional career in Spain in the first division. She's doing awesome. She checks in. We probably talk to her probably once a week. Uh, impacted our program so much. I'm um, obviously, you know, a true leader of, of Marquette and our in our women's program and just a great human being too. So happy for her and her next steps. And I think she's left a legacy here. Um, the way she handled difficult situations, the way she took the younger guys under her wing. Um, I know Jordan and Chloe and, and somebody like Liza, who's kind of new into that leadership role. Uh, they always talk about how they learned a lot from Lauren. So she'll be close to us, even though she's across the across the world. Um, but I, I love to see every year when you lose somebody like Lauren and even Carissa, right? From the from the experience of just who are those new pieces that will be the voice, who will be the work ethic. I think the one thing with Lauren, she was so steady, um, never moved too fast. Um, we called her grandma for a reason, but she was always that steady influence. And I think we still have some work to do with figuring out those pieces who will take the place. Jordan being a first uh, gen college student in her family, um, yeah. I know she walked in May, but as you got to know her, how important was that for her to have that kind of moment uh, with her family? Yeah, she has a great story. Uh, along with a, lo a lot of our players, we have some first-gen um, college kids here, and, and just the opportunity that Marquette brings them. Um, Jordan just gets it. I think she's she she takes advantage of every opportunity that's given to her, whether it's starting her masters here now at Marquette, um, whether that's being the starting point guard the day she walks on campus when she probably was like, "What am I getting into?" Um, she's just always been that you know that person that's like, "Coach, I'll do it. I'll buy in." Um, you know, a great, a great human being as well, and really excited for her from the basketball side um, to really showcase her ability a little bit more this year too. You said she was a starter from day one. You, you also joke that you know you're harder on your point guards. Yeah. But how have you seen her grow uh, over your years together? And what do you expect her to add this year? I think the thing about Jordan is I can, I've always been able to challenge her, you know, and that's in one-on-one -on -one meetings, that's on the court in front of her teammates. Uh, she's got thick skin. She cares about the people around her. Um, she works on relationships with her teammates, and those key staples allow her to do what she does when the lights turn on and in, in front of a big crowd. And um, She's always had that selfless mentality of, you know, I'll, I'll be that point guard first, but every year we've tried to get her to, you know, take a few more shots and, and find ways to add different things to her game. Um, and so we, a little bit with her going into her senior year is like, let's not change a lot. Let's just add a couple things. Um, some of those shots that Lauren or Carissa got, that'll be, you know, two or three more for you. Um, and then obviously big shots are always important for her. I think she can be that person that hits it too. It's Mikey Garvin's first year as a program assistant. What has he done for you Mikey. in the past as a practice player? <laughs> as a practice player um, from a coaching perspective, what do you hope to see from him this year? You know Mikey? 
Mikey, he's great. Yeah, Michael over there. Um, <laughs> he's another one that's been at Marquette longer than I have. He's been here forever, but he, he did a little bit of everything. He's a manager. He was a practice player. He switched roles um, and earned a spot to get a full-time position. I mean, he's the epitome of if you do the right thing, you work hard, you treat people the right way. You, you, in this business, you've got to work a ton of hours, um, don't get paid a lot of money, and he's like, Coach, what do you need me to do next? Um, and there's a reason why he's still on staff with us, and he's getting exposed to a lot of things on the coaching side, the operational side. Um, he bleeds blue and gold, so we love people who love Marquette, um, and is just a great great person to have in our program. Claire Kafis is, is working her way back from Tracy Andrews, who's practicing practice today. What is her role going to be like as she's still working to get back to game speed? Yeah, thrilled Claire's back for us. Obviously, we, we lost some experience with her last year. You know, Claire's a little bit like Chloe in some ways of our utility players. She can guard different positions, very high basketball IQ. She's always in the right spots. Um, you hear her voice a lot, um, fixing things on the court. Um, she has a strong presence in the locker room. And I think the big thing for Claire is just getting the rust off from, from her ACL injury, um, getting more time on the court, being in those live game situations. She's worked extremely hard with her rehab to get back. She's 100%, and it's just a matter of getting her those, those reps when it matters um, for our team. Emily was the first commit from Wisconsin to commit to you at Marquette. What's it like to get a big profile prospect like that from Wisconsin? Yeah, Emily's been great. Um, I think she's gonna she's gonna do some some great things for us this year. Gonna be in that rotation. Um, if you followed her from her past, dynamic score can score in all three levels. Been so impressed with her IQ. Sometimes as freshmen, they're good players, great players, but the speed of the game, the physicality, um, being in a college program, it, it, it's not the same, obviously. And so it takes you know, those guys sometimes a year to get going. And she's been able to pick up things very quickly, um, you know, compared to I think freshmen across the country. So I think the more we can give her, obviously, the experience and the time. There's no substitute for, for that, but she's doing a great job so far. You guys went and supported her in her state championship game. I know they lost, but what was it like to be able to go and support her at that? Yeah, I mean, we want to support all our kids, whether they're doing something on campus, whether they're, you know, they haven't gotten here yet. Obviously, she was signed and got to play for her championship, which is great. We recruit a lot of winners, so, we'll, you know, coaches always flying around, get to those state championship games and all that. But, um, yeah, no matter what it is, on campus, off campus, um, I mean, this is our second family here, so we're going to support any way we can. Have the roles changed a little bit for, like, Juliana and Kennedy uh, this mm -hmm. year? And if so, where have you seen their biggest growth uh, from last season to now? I think, John, you, you hit on the head. We have a big group. We're going to all be in new roles. So Juliana Okasing, if you saw her today, her presence inside with her size is going to help us. we got to play Texas. You know, we're going to the Bahamas where you got UCLA and Tennessee, and they got kids who are 6'7 and 6'8. UConn is, gonna, is huge. Um, so her size is going to help us. Um, Kennedy Miles, you know, being new to our program, it's almost in some ways like a freshman, the way you got to adapt to the, to this new program, so it takes time. She She's doing um, just, you know, incredible things compared to what she was thrown into last year, so really happy with her. Even Liza Carlin, right, She the way she finished the, the year last year, she's taking on a new role. So, again, that means a little bit of up and down, I think. Um, Rose Nakumu is another one that is, is playing really good basketball right now, has been kind of that reserve point guard. Uh, but she's taken ownership of our defense and being a playmaker. So I, I feel like the majority of my roster is all in new roles, but that's okay. They're doing a great job. You mentioned the Bahamas. I know you guys were supposed to be in that first one back, but obviously yeah. COVID. So what was what's it like just being able to ask to go back and play on a big stage? You're going to play against Texas first game and potentially Louisville yeah. uh, the second game. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So we were supposed to go during 2020, and obviously they were going to move it back to the States, and we were like, eh, we'd rather go to the Bahamas <laughs> and not have it in, like, you know, you know, another state in the Midwest or something in the winter or whatever. Um, but, yeah, and, and the tournament's even stronger than it was two years ago. So, you know, just a, across the board, the eight teams that are there, it's going to test us. It's going to get us ready for conference play. Just the different styles. I mean, we got, like I mentioned, the size of some of the teams, the athleticism. And then you got a South Dakota State um, and Gonzaga and, and us who are kind of that, that same group that wins a lot of games and, um, you know, has a, a tough style to play against. So we're going to be tested. It's going to be awesome um, for our fans to watch. So hopefully you guys can check it out and, uh, you know, it'll be a good measuring stick for us. You get to go come full circle with Nia Clark. Uh, just what's the story with that? how you guys were able to reconnect? Yeah, so I recruited Nia when I was at Miami, um, and she played her freshman year with me, and then she had an injury, so missed kind of the back end of her freshman year. And then when I left to come here, she went to Xavier, and so our paths kind of went different directions. And then 
we picked her up on the grad the grad transfer um, with the new rules. So it, it's been it's been awesome. Um, we've both grown up a lot, I think. <laughs> like my first head coaching job, she was just a young baby, you know, trying to figure out life. And it's cool to have her back here. She's she's doing great. She brings a different athleticism and competitiveness to us. And again, she's she's learning our program and what she needs to do. But yeah, it's it's fun. It's like I mean, I knew her when she was a youngster. We talked about earlier the offense being equal opportunity. How important is that going to be considering the two massive pieces that, that left after last season? We lost some scoring for sure, obviously, inside and outside. So I think we're going to, you know, everybody talks about our guard play, and I think we're going to be able to spread the floor and shoot the three a little bit more. Um, we have probably four or five guards that are going to all be in that rotation of, you know, kind of like what, what do we need at, at any given night, I think. And there's still a lot of – um, defining of these roles. We still got a few more weeks till the season, but I think to me this is going to be the team too. Ultimately, you want to be playing your best basketball January, February, March. So again, I think we're going to be evolving as we go, and we'll, we'll see when those lights turn on. You know, some of those some of those younger players as well. You mentioned that your Big East is always a deep conference, and you know you're a young team. You have a lot of newcomers. So how's the the problem is in playing Texas and playing UCLA. How is that going to help you all? like a tough teams to start with to go into Big East play. Yeah, we, we really tried to, you know, structure our non-conference um, schedule a certain way. Colorado's coming back into the Al, and we, we had a, a tough game against them last year, and then we're still playing a team like Milwaukee down the road where it's always a great, great little rival, and, and then you play the Bahamas. So we're, we're going to have um, plenty of opportunities to test our team. Uh, and then moving to the Big East, I, I think it's, it's better than it has been. You know, all the teams have some new pieces. Um, and a little bit of unknown at a, at a couple positions, I think. But there's been some movement on rosters, and, and I think there's a, there's a good chunk of us that can finish anywhere you know, in the standings by the time it's all said and done. So with Chloe, it's her last year here, obviously. So what value like, have you seen with like, all the experience she has? Like, what does that bring to the team this year? Chloe's been phenomenal just leading our group. I think the thing is she's so selfless. You, you know the energy she brings. I mean, she'll run through a wall for anybody. But one of the things I told her going into this, this last year, her fifth year, COVID year, I guess is just by the time you leave here at the end of you know springtime is like, what impact have you, have you made at the people below you, the younger guys, right? And again, that's what we kind of talked to Lauren about, like what can you show them along the way? Because her game looks good. You, you know her, she'll get 10 rebounds. She'll dive on the floor for a loose ball. You saw her in their Toledo game, pick up her scoring a little bit. So again, that, that's going to be Chloe. We don't need to change too much of her identity. But the thing that I challenged her with is like um, one more year to, to make an impact on your teammates and your coaches is what we're looking for her to do. Anything else for Coach? Okay. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it.